Well, you know what time it is. It's time for another material tutorial. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Tetspy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back in Blender 2.8 EV once again. Taking a look at this material that I just made a little bit ago. And we're back with another material. We've been doing a, a couple materials lately. Uh, you guys seem to love them, so I'm back with another one. This one right here might just be my favorite out of all the ones that we've done. I don't know. It looks really cool. I love the way it looks. Um, we're doing a magma tutorial today, so it looks really rocky, really like there's magma right underneath the surface. It looks really, really cool. looks really cool. And it's actually pretty simple, uh, especially compared to some of the other materials we've done. So I'm going to go ahead and split my window into two by dragging up from the uh, top left-hand corner up here and just splitting that right in half and then changing this to the shader editor. Boom. I can get rid of this panel on the side because we don't need that. Um, and if I zoom in here, you see we have a couple of different layers. So first we have the black and then we have, of course, you know, all the messed up looking rocky pieces. But we also have two different layers here. We also have the, we have the, the, the darker red and then we have the lighter red. So that's over here. So this is the actual material part. And as always, I'm going to break this down into two different sections so you guys can uh, have an easier time. So I'm going to actually go ahead and unhook the material for now. And we'll just take a look at, um, let me add in just a regular diffuse. We'll just take a look at the displacement because that's the part that I did first anyway. All right, so let's just ignore all this. This does not matter right now. Just give it all that. All right. Now, for the displacement, if this ever pops in, it's going to take a little bit of time. There we go. If, for the displacement, we have a couple of different things. So I'll start off with the original noise texture, which is this guy right here. Uh, and you can see if I put this to one and then we go ahead and just uh, disconnect everything except for that, except for that. I like breaking it down like this. So if I have the noise texture, I have a noise te texture, which is shift A, search, and then just noise right there. Grab that. Uh, I have this, the scale set to 1. You can see it look, looks like, what it looks like over here. Then the detail set to 16. And then, of course, the distortion set to 30. Because the distortion is really helping us get those nice lines that kind of swoop and swirl around, the, um, around the, the sphere here. Oh, by the way, I also have a modifier on this sphere. Um, and it's just a displacement modifier. So add modifier, displace. And then I just uh, went to the texture tab, added a new texture, made it a uh, cloud texture, and then just went back here and selected that texture, then put the strength on 0.2. I also have a subsurf modifier, which is add modifier, of course, subsurf, and then 4, 4, 3. All right, just wanted to say that real quick. <laughs> so now we have that out the way. I, I added a color ramp node after the noise node here. So shift A, search, color ramp. And I just plug the color into the factor of the color ramp. And now I have this, these black and white values to go ahead and kind of get rid of some of the pieces that I do not want on the uh, the material here. So right there looks pretty good. And I also have the white color as well. So yeah, that just kind of, you know, fades away some of the pieces that I don't want. Try and get some like chips and edges and stuff in there. All right. So after that, I hooked up a uh, another noise texture. So I, I mixed two together here. And I'll show you in a second. So... Let me hook this up right here. And so what I've done pretty much with this uh, second noise texture is I've taken uh, this guy right here, which is another noise texture on two scale, 16 and 20 distortion. So you can see if I bump this up, you can see what it's doing here. So we have this kind of like the underlying scratches that are kind of going across the other scratches, which looks really, really cool. Uh, if I just go ahead and play around with this black value, you can see I'm also shaving away some of the pieces I don't want on those, um, which looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, those are our two scratches right there. That's pretty much all I did almost, and then have we, we had this second one here. So I just added this uh, these two together by hitting Shift A, Search, and then I just typed in Math, and then I hit Enter, change this from, well, I don't need to change anything. So we just, yeah, leave it like that, and then I just plug those two in, and then plug this ad shader into another ad to get what I wanted to do. So uh, what I've done after this is I've multiplied uh, this together. There we go. So if I plug that back in to this noise texture over here, we have these two being combined. So one, two, one, two, combined into this add shader, and then this into this right here. So now when this material calculates anytime soon, oh, I didn't plug it back in, that's why. Oh, actually, I don't really know why I had the second add shader here, but we only need that two. That's kind of weird. Uh, I don't know what was up with that. But anyway, so we have these two uh, add shaders being uh, multiplying these two together. And then we have another noise texture right here, which is also being added with these two. So we have that set to scale uh, for one. We have 16 detail and 10 distortion. 
So uh, that is uh, these little pieces in the background there just to get some texture on some of the spots that is being missed like these places in here. So there's a little bit of texture inside of there. You see that um, if I turn the detail down, you'll be able to see you see those those little like take a look at this area right here. Right. So this area right here is completely lacking of detail. Now you put that in there a little bit of detail in there. Looks nice. All right. So it kind of pieces them all together. So those are that's it for our displacement, which is pretty nice. All right, so that's pretty much it for our displacement um, portion of the material here. So I'm going to go ahead and just unhook this diffuse because we don't need that. That was just so I could show you the displacement. Hit B to box select, and I'm just going to drag all this back over here. Hit G to move, and then I'll just plug this mix shader back in. And I'm going to unhook the displacement at the time being, for the time being. All right, so uh, this is actually pretty simple. So what I've done is if I could, you know, have my mouse back, that's great, wonderful. All right, so this is what it looks like without any displacement. It looks pretty cool, but it looks kind of flat and cartoony, which is also sweet. So if you just wanted this, then you're done. Um, this actually looks really good. I didn't look at this without the displacement. Wow, I love that. That looks really cool. All right, so um, what I have here is, of course, the default principle BSDF shader. We don't need a subsurf color, so you can just get rid of that. Just ignore that. We don't need that at all. All right, so... Um, now, with this, I have a base color set, but the base co color doesn't matter because, well, it does matter a little bit, but uh, I have it set to like a, a tannish color right here, and I just dropped it to about 50% uh, value right there. So, I hook that up into a mix shader, so that's shift A, search mix shader, and then we put, plop that right there. Now, I have another noise texture and a color ramp, so if I disconnect uh, all of these except for this first one here, you'll be able to see uh, what I have is something like this so the noise texture is being this is the just the regular this is the first one so the noise texture i have set to one scale you see what it does if i change it uh set to one scale 16 detail and 30 percent distortion then i have that hooked up into a color ramp so that's shift a of course color ramp again um and then that is plugged the color of the noise is plugged into the color ramp now we have a black color here and we have, also have a gray color so i just hit this little plus button to add another one and then just change it to gray uh, this gray color right there and then the black is kind of in the middle so if I do this you kind of see what I've done here so I've kind of just like faded away some of the edges like I said before with the displacement and the gray is just here kind of to act as a little bit of a um, a detail adder because I wanted some more color and some more detail being able to be shown in the blacker areas because see look the black looks kind of solid before I add the gray then I add the gray and you can see there's a little bit more detail in there then I have an emission shader being plugged from the color of the color ramp into the color of the emission. And I also have the alpha into the strength. So that's shift A, search emission, boom, right there. Um, and now what this does is it makes it so that it's actually emitting a color. So it's, it's, it's brighter and it's more vibrant, which is what I wanted. Um, and the alpha is plugged into the strength literally just because it makes it appear a little bit more dark. And it looks a little bit realistic because it looks less like it's just solid. You see what the, you see the difference right there. It just looks a little bit more realistic, so I just I plug I plug that in. Uh, all right, so with this emission shader, I plug the emission into a mix shader. Once again, that's just Shift A Search Mix, um, and then I plug that into this second mix shader, which I have done. All right, so uh, I just plug that into the mix shader here, uh, right there. This uh, this uh, second red color here, if I can grab it, kind of you see it kind of is just those little. Uh, highlight pieces, which is nice. I'm gonna put that right, about right there because it's kind of vibrant. There we go, um, which is nice. So I had the same exact thing for the noise, noise texture. The same thing for the color ramp. Pretty much, I just got rid of the gray and just pushed this up a little bit. Um, and then of course the emission shader, which is the exact same. So all these have to be the same value because if they're not, you can see they will not. You see that they won't line up. So then they won't be on the same streaks, and it won't look like it's just highlights. It look like it's new ones then they kind of sync up with all of the rest of the um, scratches, which looks pretty cool. So then I mix those two together into the second mix shader, and then I plug that into the surface. And that's pretty much all I did. That's going to be it for today's tutorial. I hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. I want to thank everyone for all the support on the tutorials. Um, massive, massive thank you, because it's, 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 it's awesome. It's awesome to see the comments and see the likes and, and know that I'm able to help you guys all the time. So I really, really appreciate it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.